job it and I was sitting reading the bio and then I, I, I finished and I shouted Mum I'm finished and she didn't come in and it went all dry and it all happened then. See I took on Eric Bristol in a game of poker and then we went to the show off and then I went and battled fuck out John McCarrick. Hiding in the cupboard in my granny's waiting on her coming back in and she, she came back in and she came into the kitchen she was going to make herself a cup of tea and I jumped out and I went oh and she fell down the floor but she wasn't moving <laughs> she wasn't moving somebody better tell her get an ambulance or something like that see when I spelt my name backwards I found out I was actually Marlon Brando I was at school one day at no well and I made some quiche with some stuff at the hoover you wouldn't have thought I'd have actually tried it in a bouncy castle just made all these films where all these people were getting killed in them, but they never thought out who he was. The guy told me he'd fed his dug in nothing but powder pack though for the past six years, it was fucking huge! I'm getting a spam curry and burnt kippers for my dinner. I went into Brian Blessed's house and he shouted at me really, really loud. <laughs> Rattled or stupid. They stopped me taking school school dinners because I kept spelling bad words out with my alphabet spaghetti. See, my friend William, he says one day that he, he makes a policeman cry with a box of wheat picks and a packet of dry pasta, but I think he's talking shite. So they say if you don't stop smoking, you've got about four days to live. <laughs> For a second there, I thought I was a funny guy. The third Billy Whitney was really, really angry about Davy kicking his dog, so they rolled him up my carpet and set him in fire. I got grounded for juggling my goldfish. Bastard ran away with my hat. And I got dressed up like Kenny Everett and they threw me outside. Who's that? Who, who's the. Uh, I can't remember who's it. That guy that walks about with a, with a big Asda bag full of dead pigeons. Somebody tell me Dr. Fingers is coming. We went round for my pal William and his mum came to the door and I says, hi, is, is William coming out? And she says, no, he's no coming out because he's been a bad boy and he was sticking ecstasies up his bum. My uncle Peter says he can bench press a house. So he didn't go on holiday and missed his flight because there wasn't any toilet paper left. I set fire to a tramp. It's going to tie your belt that tight because then you... I heard a story about a man that didn't pay his TV licence and they come back home for his work one day and uh, somebody had stood in his cat and drowned his goldfish and left a dead horse in his fridge. But ma imagine that coming back to your holiday to find that somebody's ripped your phone off the wall and stood in your cat and fuck knows how it got in the fridge. Oh, oh I don't know, a cafe, he got something eating. The lady come up to me and she says, what do you want? And I says, I'll have a baked tatty please. And she says, right, you can have cheese, or you can have beans, or you can have tuna, or you can have chicken and cheese, or you can have uh, spam. And I says, no, no thanks, I'll just have some more tatties, please. <laughs>